One that hasn't won a Group 1, and that's uh, Young Verda. He gets a big chance today. This is so many different storylines in regards to both um, jockeys, jockeys' tactics, 2,000 metres here at Flemington, and also the trainers. Great group of trainers. Oh, this has every element of a classic Australian yeah. Cup. And if James Cummings were to win, he'd be the first trainer ever to win the Newmarket Australian Cup in consecutive years. No one's done that in consecutive years. So another piece of racing history. It's had a big build-up. There's been a lot talked about the placement. $3 million, pushed back later than ever. Fantastic field. We're going to hold our breath. It's going to be thrilling. Here's the Australian Cup. Matt Hill. The field is set. Mr Brightside a little bit edgy. They're ready. Gates are back and they're racing and Mr. Brightside away pretty well. Pride of Jenny jumped with them. Esty Feeney led from Legato. Young Verd has dug up. Mr. Brightside's also booting up. Now Pride of Jenny using plenty of the track makes a line of five and they're a length and a half. Bow and Declare, a tissue, Dom to shoot and Cascadian. Interesting tactics early. Young Verda wants a piece of the action. Also in the group there is Esty Feeney. Mr. Brightside's holding his place and Pride of Jenny is steadily working forward. He wants the front baits, but he's not going to rush there. And at the 1,400 metres, he got over Pride of Jenny to lead now by two and a half lengths. Estefini second, Mr Brightside third, and fourth is Young Verta. Two and a quarter of Tissue and Legato, and then Dom to shoot. Second last, Vow and Declare, and last year's winner, Cascadian, is at the end. 1,200 metres to go. This is what she loves, Pride of Jenny. She's out clear by five or six lengths in the Australian Cup. Estefini second, a length, Mr Brightside. A length and a quarter, Young Verta. Then came a tissue, Legato, Dom to shoot, Vow and Declare, and Cascadians, 15 lengths at least off Pride of Jenny. 850 metres to go, she quickens it up to the 800. Pride of Jenny, six lengths in front of Esty Feeney, Mr. Brightside. Two for the back is Young Verta. They were followed next by a tissue as they run the turn from Legato, Vow and Declare. Well back in the field is Dom to shoot and Cascadian last. So Pride of Jenny looks 500 metres in front of her. About five lengths, Mr. Brightside side heeled along under the whip Esty Feeney a tissues traveling got a run between horses then Legato Young Verta and behind them Bow and Declare Pride of Jenny 300 meters to go four links in front a tissues trying to grind her down then Mr Brightside Cascadian Pride of Jenny she can run through walls at the 150 but a tissue and Cascadian are coming at her Pride of Jenny at the 100 Cascadian wearing her down Pride of Jenny at the 50 Cascadian's got up to her Cascadian back to back Cascadian just beats Pride of Jenny in a brilliant finish. Third a photo, Vow and Declare or a tissue, then Mr. Brightside. Behind them, Legato, Young Verda Estefini, and Dom the Shoot was last of all. Incredible, great call. It's going to be one of the classics of all time. Only the third nine-year-old, and you've got to go back over 120 years to the previous one and then back to the 1870s. So he gets the job done. James Cummings Richo becomes the very first trainer to win a new market Australian Cup in consecutive years. His grandfather did it four times, but not consecutively. Ben Mellon rides the perfect race again, and a classic Australian Cup unfolds in a mouth-watering display, doesn't it? And look.